I hope you enjoyed the show that um, we put out on Sunday, and I'm going to let you into a little secret. We didn't know the series was starting then. Genuinely, I thought it started in July, and I thought we were still in May. And then somebody said, oh, I'll see you on Wednesday at the studio. And I had no idea, absolute hand on heart, the series was starting. None at all. And nobody did. And we haven't really filmed anything. No. I pr- and we're not joking. No, we're not making that up. It's, it's, it's a classic case of, are you ready for what? <laughs> we haven't, because it's like a load of blokes all sitting around going, ah, it'll be fine, plenty of time, plenty of time. Suddenly there's no time at all. And we really genuinely, normally we have all the films made before the series starts. It's on like this homework, occasion, isn't it? Yeah. It's his homework. On this it? occasion, like we, haven't we simply haven't done it. So, Mondays are doing the voiceover for the films we haven't made, Tuesdays writing the studio stuff, Wednesday we come to the studio, Thursday I go and get on with my other jobs, and your other jobs. This time, we have the, to... The some... dog ate it, didn't it? <laughs> or it fell on the back of the piano, or whatever happens to your homework. It is really weird, and somebody's forgot to tell Richard Hammond that we're even here, because it's not... Oh, f- Hammond! I'd better ring him up, hang on. No, he isn't there. There's somebody there who looks like Richard Hammond, but who actually isn't. It does look like Richard Hammond. It does look like Richard Hammond. Hang on a minute. But would he do, he'd do, actually, as Richard Hammond, wouldn't he? Would it be under C for Why don't we just get him? No, 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 we'll get him in, because he looks... Excuse me! Here comes Richard Hammond now. Yeah, I don't need to bring Richard Hammond up. No, he's here. Yeah, that's Richard. All right, Richard. Richard. If you just stand there, just, just pretend to Richard Hammond. Just just sorry, Richard I don't have to Hammond. say anything. Yeah, yeah, just stand, just stand like there, there we go. So, um... Yeah, he's not standing there. No, you stand like this. Richard always does this with his wee foot. Side on to the... Side on, makes it look taller. Side on, and then roll, roll back. Roll Thin back. your eyes, one eyebrow slightly higher than the other. Look slightly quizzical. Yeah. Because yeah. if you don't that's quite the, understand what's going on, that's pretty That's good. perfect. Yeah. So you just stand there looking like that. <laughs> anyway, um, we, we do hope you enjoy the rest of the series. And um, there, is one. there are many, many surprises in it for, for us. As many much for as us, you. yes. yes. <laughs> for us as well as you. Um, we do know that next week we have a remarkable film where we took three little hot hatchbacks and we drove up the Italian Riviera and then Bernie Eccleston, for reasons that aren't entirely, entirely clear, allowed us to drive around the Monaco Grand Prix track with all the marshals, I mean, closed, crowds, marshals, everything, which was one of the highlights of my entire professional career. It is actually career. one of the best films we've ever made, yeah. at least we thought it was. Well, we enjoyed making it more yeah. than almost anything else. Um, we've got cars we've got coming up in the series. Um, Aston. Lam- Aston Virage, Lamborghini Aventador. Aventador. Not filmed yet, either of no. them. Um, BMW 1M. I oh, know we've just we've seen just that. that. Um, yeah. What else have we filmed? Well, uh, how we filmed? Uh, electric cars. Oh, yes, yes, we went to Lincoln. Yep. Um, that's all we've done. Yeah, that's it. And you actually think we're joking. You actually think, oh, rubbish, they'll have a whole vault all the films will have been done, they'll have been worked. We haven't. We did have an idea about improving public transport kicking around. Oh, no, we did, no, we did, we did, 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 we made a train. Oh, we've done that, haven't yes, we? Yes, we did, yeah, we, we did. made a train. In fact, it turns out we've got, f- yeah, we, we're ready. We've got enough for three weeks. We're ready. So we, that's it, no, you can see that's it. That's you see, it makes you look tall. No, that one, that one, that's it. That's, that's it, okay. that's lovely. And uh, there we are. So, Richard. Have we got any good guests? Guests, yes. Man. Rich, yes, we've got many guests. Yeah, there are loads. They're all booked, uh, and they're all desperate to come down here and see if they can go faster than John Bishop. Um, we might even go who are they? Who they are. Uh, uh, no, Simon Cowell's coming yes, back. Simon Cowell. Same thing. I'll give you a bit of an exclusive. I don't think he's ever done a chat show before, this chat, ever in his entire life. Rowan Dalai Atkins. Lama. Rowan Atkins. Yeah. Is he? Rowan has agreed to come on. So that's amazingly good news. Um, and then we'll have to wait and see. He likes his cars as well. He does like he? his cars, yeah. yes. So, no, we hope you enjoy the rest of the series. Um, so we'll see you next Sunday. Hopefully. All right, Richard. Just clean my shoes. I think I'd prefer this bloke to have I do. He's <laughs> quieter, isn't he? He's much better. <laughs> Right, we have, um, we have a noble on the track in the show, a Ross noble, which is brilliant because uh, I've met him a couple of times doing QI and he's told me many, many stories about his love of motorcycles, tanks and so on, so that'll be good. Um, Aston Martin Virage, uh, James May is testing that on the track, so we've had to speed that up in the edit. And it will go on to 186 miles an hour. And then we have a film across Europe, um, 
the three of us driving through some of the best driving roads in fantastic hot hatchbacks on a lovely sunny day in southern in northern Italy. It was quite hard work. No, not hard, it's the wrong word. It's brilliant. It was a fantastic film to make there. Well, it's, it's very much a party sort of place. Uh, it has very elegant properties. It's like Monaco in many ways, actually. Have you ever been to Hammersmith? And we all do like hot hatchbacks, so we hope you enjoy that one. And we end up, of course, doing a lap of the, uh, of the Grand Prix track. Here we go. Is it Brass in the castle? Caught them up. It's simply terrifying. You look, fine, dead. Just phenomenal. So enjoy. Now, what we've done this week is we've accidentally made a car show. Uh, we've got three films with very strong car content in them. So, Lewis Hamilton, watch and learn. This is how you pass a Ferrari. <laughs> we've got um, a film about how much car you can buy for how little money. Hello! Hello! I want one of these phones on a cord in my car. I do. <laughs> this is better. We do have plenty of saliva. It's on the car phone. When you talk, obviously, little spatters uh, of saliva yeah. come out. Oh, yeah. And um, James has been driving the Range Rover Evoke. <laughs> Done a wheelie! <laughs> We've even got a car guest, actually. He's, um, oh, um, Formula One driver, Sebastian Vettel. Do you have a girlfriend? Is she wearing a helmet as well? <laughs> he has decided he would like to come on and try his hand in the old reason to be priced car to see if he can go faster than Rubens Barrichello, the current fastest. So we're sort of looking at the weather because obviously if that lot dumps rain all over the track, then he won't. And if it doesn't, he might. It always is interesting when you have to interview a Formula One driver on a Wednesday, which is what it is now, for a programme that goes out on a Sunday, just after the British Grand Prix finishes. So we'll speculate, shall we, on, on how he does. Coming up in this week's show, we have our answer to the problems facing public transport, it's a railway! Says we're doing 80 miles an hour. We have a Jaguar. The mad car! We have a Nissan. It's mind-boggling. And... What else have we got? Oh yeah, Rowan Atkinson. What a top chap. Thank you. That's, that's all there is. Is that on? Is it? Are we onto the internet? Is that the internet out there? The internet's got smaller cameras. As you probably know, the first three programmes of this series have been very car-based, um, lots of individual films, and it's gone down very well with our hardcore fans in Minnesota and... Arizona. Arizona and the teenagers on... Minneapolis. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this week, that all stops. Little apology in advance. No, it's not an apology, because I watched the programme with my 12-year-old daughter, yeah. And she's watched the last three, like... <laughs> which she quite like when the dog That's barked she took her glasses away. Yeah. <laughs> so she's been a bit puzzled about what's happened to Top Gear. Well, this week, it's for my 12-year-old daughter. I must say, my kids last week walked out of the um, cheap, great cars. Yeah, there was... Yeah. She no, was when... bored, she fidgeted, she was bored to tears. And yeah. we, so we have to make the programme for everybody. Um, so this week it's very much for the 12-year-old, and so is the week after, if I'm honest. Well, this week starts well, if you're on one of our beloved followers on Final Gear, it starts well because you've got, like, that over there. 
Ah, oh, I'm hammered. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Right, so we've got... Yes, we've built this train, and it's... Yeah, it's you've given it away. We don't do that in a preview. Well, I'd like to. You can't. Me? The people who make trails at the BBC? No. All agree? No. All ag When you went to see Casino Royale, or, or you go to the cinema and you see the Harry Potter trailer, do they have... Harry Potter going like that with his wand? Or do they have a massive battle and an explosion and Voldemort going... <laughs> it's a mistake what they, they, they do. They don't have Ron Weasley going. <laughs> this, is <a> debate, <laughs> this is a debate he and I have a lot. Is he likes to G everybody up and say, we've got a fantastic show lined up, and I like to go, well, it's not that good. The new CEO of Warner Brothers, Jeremy Clarkson. <laughs> There's too much in this trail. Well, I don't like, I don't don't like giving stuff away. Emma Watson does her shoes up. That's the that's what we want to get. Yes, into exactly. Cinema. In this Harry Potter, <laughs> Emma Watson walks through a room. That's what I'd do. <laughs> it's a train and it works. Refreshments, gentlemen. I've been torn to shreds by the invisible man turning my boots off. We filmed a spoof. Uh, title sequence to a 70s sort of detective cop show thing called The Interceptors because Jeremy has been driving an Interceptor. So we all um, put stick on moustaches on. I hid my real moustache in my pocket whilst we did this and wore uh, sort of 70s clothes and then you know went around shooting at things and blowing things up and looking at women in bikinis and all the things they used to do at the beginnings of those programs. And then we suggested to the audience that maybe they'd quite like to see that instead of regular Top Gear. And I'd quite like to make it instead of regular Top Gear, but the problem is the Jensen Interceptor is actually a bit crap. Um, and they don't work, and they just weren't very good, because most things weren't back in the 1970s. We forget this. We tend to look back on them fondly and think it was all just a, a funky shirt and a, <laughs> you know, a prawn cocktail. <laughs> but actually it was power cuts, strikes, badly built cars that rusted, awful tinned food, outside bogs at my school. Uh, my teenage years, obviously they're terrible. Um, just awfulness, really. Darkness, black and white, drizzle, coal dust, disease, hunger. A man who came round in a van selling loaves of bread because we couldn't actually afford to build a bakery. On the programme you just missed, you would have seen, if you'd been watching, if you were watching, I suppose you're not actually going to watch this because what's the point? So what you've missed is Jeremy driving an old Jensen and then a new Jensen, which is really an old one made new. Jeremy driving a Formula One car that isn't actually quite a Formula One car, but it's not very far off. Oh my head! Jeremy interviewing Bob Geldof. How are you? And finally, Jeremy driving this which is actually a, uh, a mind-sweeping machine, um, but we've used it as a demolition machine because we've been trying to knock some houses down. Oh, <laughs> That's all I can tell you at this point, otherwise I'll spoil the show that you've just missed. Thank you, and goodbye. Hello, Internet. Back Hello. Again. It's the Internet. Yeah. This is Andy Willman, he's the producer. I'm Jeremy Clarkson, I'm one of the uh, presenters, hosts, as you call them in Minnesota. Got one a stick. And we, um, we have an amazing show lined up for you this week. Um, we have some car content in, it, content in it, and then quite a lot of no car content at all to annoy people on Final Gear. More than last week. Car, I think car, car, fewer, car, I think car fewer cars this week. Really? Yeah. Let's have a think. Well, OK, Train, so we Jack. start off with the Jensen Interceptor. Well, which that starts is, well yeah. if you live in Minnesota. Yeah. <laughs> it is, it is. It, we, we do a proper, sensible, old-fashioned road test of the Jensen Interceptor. For about... And then four minutes, and then it goes a bit silly. And then we have the... Well, it's here. Just swing around. Now, that makes up for it, I think, for all the asking about the that will is, You'll discover what that is in the show. I drive that. My neck is hurting still. Um, uh, we'll be hoping to see how fast that goes around the track, but uh, it's July, it's Britain, so if it rains, that'll get abandoned, unfortunately. And then for and the rest of the show... In it. Yeah, Jean Lacey. Jean Lacey was here. Jean Lacey was here. And, um, and then the rest of the show, if you're a car enthusiast, you know, 
I'd stop there, actually. I'd, yeah. Um, the other problem we've got this week, which is the biggest one of them all, is that uh, this time we're told we've got to be 59 for reasons I don't understand. But anyway, well, James... But the interview should be sh quite short with the guest, because he's once we've edited out the swear words from him, I think we'll have a hello, you lap. <laughs> How yeah, are you today? <laughs> Not telling you, it's a secret. He swears, he swears a, a lot. lot. A lot, and he isn't Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. Uh, yo, your chair's broken. What? Well, hang on, that is the, doing that? That is the producer's chair that's... he likes to sit there. <laughs> and that's my radar dish, so I can beam all around the world to see what's going on. <laughs> I can sit that there. That is and... his office. It's caged, barbed wire. A um... couple of cones to stop riffraff getting in. Everything I need. So it's a good show, and um, it is actually. You look, James, can you see in the distance? As James spends most of his morning when we're supposed to be planning the show, hanging around in that garage with nice. Nigel, who he loves. There's Absolutely. Nigel. I think he just said, "Put his glasses on." Yeah, Nigel. Nigel so James goes over. Yes, I will do the show in a minute. First of all, I just want to go and have a look at the crane shaft in Nigel's garage. Going to help Nigel. We're going to go and help Nigel to get dirty fingernails by looking at this old triumph. Very lovely. Oh, Nigel, that coil's not working properly. I'll help you. Oh, thank you, James. We've got the show to do. Yes, yes, yes. We're just going to get some tools to help Nigel. He will. When Top Gear's all over, that's where you'll find James. Yeah. Helping Nigel, drinking tea, yeah. <laughs> looking at old sepia-coloured photos. Yes. Oh, do you remember the Triumph 2500 oh, PA? Oh, yes, that was... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you only have to watch it on television. Yeah, you have to work with him. Yeah, um, so, enjoy. Enjoy the this show. One. Got we one more after this, and then... We've got to make some Christmas tat. I mean, some DVDs, haven't we? We have got to make some DVDs. As yeah. soon as this is over, yeah, we, um, yeah. we do the DVDs and then we start filming for the next series. So, see you then. Oh, I don't like this. No, no, no. Ah. <laughs> hell, fire. Our favourite film from this series, I think, would be... Well, mine would be the Demolition film. Oh, God! Ooh, 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 ooh. Whoa! Ha, ha! Mine would be the trains, I think. <laughs> this is just the best thing I've ever done. So that was pretty good. Best car I've driven in the series? Well, best would have to be the McLaren MP4-12C. Sort of dull, though it is. It's a pretty impressive yeah, piece I'd of engineering. I like that. Oh, my God, they've worked their magic with this. And um, thank you very much for watching. The viewing figures have been very good, and you've all been very loyal and very patient with the elderly gentlemen as we continue to plod our way through the world of cars. Um, Thank you for all your, all your constructive criticisms as well. What, I'm Yo sure. Go Top Gear from yeah. Mikey123? No, no, that was Bozo 55. Bozo 55 yeah, was yeah. Yo Go Top Gear. Yeah. Um, Sperm Sandwich 737, of course, says that it, it, this hasn't been as good as Series 12, and he hated that as well. Yeah, but no, really... Uh, half... steer face, you like liked Series 13, though. Um, genuinely, heartfelt thank you for watching Top Gear still, because we are getting older and fatter and slower and more blind. And it's very nice to know that you still find what we do on a Sunday evening entertaining enough for you to say, no, let's not watch Country File. Uh, and it's also very nice to know that there are people in Minnesota and Wisconsin who go, go to all the bother of illegally downloading the show. Um, and then complaining about it. And then complaining it. about it. So the British the British people pay their licence fee for us to make this show and then it's stolen by people in Wisconsin who then write and say, I stole a programme last week and it wasn't as good as the last programme I stole. Which was rubbish anyway. Exactly, and that's the essence of what's going on out there in America. Hey, would you like this sandwich? It's free. It's horrible. It's awful. I've eaten it anyway. Hello, Internet. Hello, Hello, John. Hello Wisconsin. Um, and welcome to the happiest day in the Top Gear calendar. The day when I can say goodbye to James May, knowing that I don't have to see him again for another two months. No one is more pleased than me. 
Not that I'm not going to be seeing him. I'm going to see me quite regularly, but I don't have to see him. Either. Yeah, this is the last day we record the series. Um, after this, we all go off and make our Christmas DVDs. I think it's been a reasonably good series. I think we've mixed and matched quite well. We've had some cocking about. We've had some serious car reviews. We have a serious car review today. A very serious car review. Yeah, we genuinely, in this, we do. James and I have done a, a joint one together um, on the electric cars. The situation is completely normal. <laughs> well, we've done that um, because it is quite an interesting subject, that. And then uh, there's a very touching film at the end of this week's show, um, which Hammond has done, um, which I urge you to watch. These guys are soldiers. They're men of action. They're used to having challenges, problems, obstacles to overcome by working together as a team. This isn't a treat. This is therapy. It's something they need to do if they're going to recover as well as they possibly can. It really is extremely good. Um, got the Lamborghini Aventador on the show. <laughs> it's uh, out on the track as we speak, setting a lap time, so we shall find out. We're also setting a lap time as promised. It's because it's not the, raining. Yeah, with the Lotus, the, what's it called, the T125. The T125 is also here, so we've got two laps in the show this week. I think we're ending up on one of those shows that people who like bits and bobs, you know, there really is no cocking about that, none at all in this week's show. No, actually, it's completely cock about free. What? What? Are you sure?